what means to be done or undone to empower a man. I see alcohol and drug abuse, domestic abuse, insect and loss of common knowledge, violence, noise, musical noise, loss of direction. This is sexual creeping into our society as a kind of falseness of behavior which was hidden and known in the open hands. And learn hopelessness and selfishness of life and life. You can get a very good sense of the level of empowerment in those of the brothers and sisters who have that backward habit of wearing their trousers with an unhygienic manner. It is obvious to me that discipline is only the And then I'm thinking, what is the fact that our country, our schools, churches, and organizations can do to recapture the minds and hearts of our young people? many of whom continue to degenerate socially and morally at an alarming rate. And you teach you may come out there. What are you doing to stand the tide of the Lord that scares you in the face these days? Are you expecting that what you are about is teaching knowledge and skill, development, articulation, and maturation, and numeration, allowing students at the same time to drown in a quagmire of immoral, immorality, and spiritual ignorance. Do you not think that academic pursuits are only a part of the education story that the young must embrace. Have you not heard about training the child in the way that we should go to the About 10 years ago, in 2000, John Moody invited me to make an address which I entitled Aim for system delivery quality education. Some of the comments I made then are as relevant now as they were 10 years ago. That grade 6 teachers are being listening and criticizing the earlier preparation given to those students about the faith like threatening the population. <laughs> <laughs> the senior teachers say of those left back of the common the majority of which boy that they can't do anything and lead them to drown in a sea of hopelessness and disillusionment. To become, as it were, a society, old cat, and a new undercat. Thank God for you. And as the communists enter the hallowed wall of secondary education, the teachers to try to follow. These kids don't know anything, they can't read, they can't write well, and they cannot read them in the city. Failure in your classroom manifests itself in very unfortunate ways in the wider society. Lots of empowerment, I believe, can be directed by the There are very many of 
the ground. And the people, all of them, who cannot read after having been too school for 10 or more years. What kind of pastime would you expect them to be engaged in? They cannot read in space. They cannot keep an educated and informed discussion or debate. Their ability to read now situations is almost non-existent. They are like an underclass in society. But that underclass is very important. From that kind of life situation, there emerges a culture of poverty where poverty feeds poverty. And the cycle continues where children become as parents are. So from early, you begin to see manifestations of the off youth quote from the English poet William Wordsworth. The child is the father. Yet, while all this is happening, here we are packing the bag of our infants with many textbooks. A situation which caused the late J. W. Fletcher to commit that, and I quote, the primary school children are become like secondary school children. And I leave you to just think in your mind what you said about secondary school we are teaching them many different subject areas when they are not even able to decipher the written words. One's ability to read opens the doors of opportunity for a young No other. Oh, 
government has continued to abrogate the responsibility and obligation. We need to recapture advent or leadership roles in this society so that all women could walk alongside us as we journey to